প্রিয় দর্শক ফিরে এলাম রোড টু ডেমোক্রেসি গণতন্ত্রের পথে অনুষ্ঠানের শুরুতে একটি দর্শক প্রশ্ন দর্শক আপনার প্রশ্নটি বলুন নাম বলুন But my point is that they are mostly involved in non-traditional businesses like fashion, uh, house, ad firm, etc. Uh, but my uh, uh, question is, uh, what is uh, your suggestion to bring them in large-scale businesses uh, in Bangladesh? Okay, thank you very much. Yes, well, it's a short shoot through the children. Thank, thank, thank you very much for the question. Well, I personally believe that women should be in every sort of business. Mm -hmm. uh, it is nothing, there is nothing wrong in the kind of business that the yes. gentleman has mentioned. But in the corporate or larger businesses, uh, they should also come in. We also need, as I mentioned, about the other perspective. Uh, one of the important aspects is that uh, women are the basic consumers of household goods. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I understand about 80-90% yes. of the goods are purchased by women. So what kind of goods would be taken by, uh, mm -hmm. would be accepted by, by female lady, gender yeah, uh, is better understood yeah. by a lady. Yeah. So that should be something that uh, should be kept in the minds of corporate leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, I personally believe that in each of the places, be it politics as well as in business, uh, we should encourage women to enter the in, in, with equal opportunity to enter into the business mm -hmm. and thrive over there, grow up themselves, uh, mature themselves, so that they can take up the leadership right. of, yeah. of these businesses. Yeah, and it's been approved. Um, just coming back to you, you're talking about the you know, leadership motto and all this. So just we're running you know, short uh, of time, so, so if you can I, just quickly comment. I just that. want to say that it just feels very surreal to me being in Bangladesh and being in places run by women. Um, and I'm reminded of Rukia Hussain right. that I read at Kobe College in USA and I've been greatly inspired by her and her Sultana's dream. That's a really wonderful, wonderful essay. And, you know, and to me, by, while being in Bangladesh, I almost feel as if that dream is coming true. Yeah, that's what you I know, was going to ask. How do you feel that? You know, I feel how far true. we are from Sultana's dream? Quite a lot. I went to, uh, you know, this restaurant called Adda, which is all women, no males there. We went to a publishing house. It was for women, by women. Um, we went to a lovely party last night. The hostess was a woman. And everybody was female there. Mm -hmm. So it was almost, my gosh, this is, you know, Sultana's dream coming true. I mean, you know, and dreams are something. Right. We have to dream. Right. And I think the, 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 the thing is that every young girl Every woman should be able to dream and see that they have the opportunities. And all we need to do is put, you know, just right. yeah. foundations underneath just add, them. Just, just add to another, you know, just to your, you know, um, comment that you know, we in our cabinet there are ministers, there are about six minister, lady ministers, seven actually. So uh, there was a poll in the you know, Daily Star in one of the leading newspaper in Bangladesh, and the best performers. Uh, to, uh, Two out of three best performers were lady ministers, female ministers. Very, very so nice. this is, uh, to give it the chance, they can prove. Just the last comment, we are running short of time, really. Well, I guess Just really what I wanted to say is, and I'm speaking for the Seven Sisters Colleges, right. that we are very dedicated to expanding our, our student base internationally. Um, and Wellesley right now, and I know our number's the best, is about 15% of the, the women who go to Wellesley are international students. Mm -hmm. And um, it is a very important priority for us to reach out internationally and empower women to be their best. Thank you very much. And Beth, nothing for those in 30 seconds, please, your comment. Well, well, I think, uh, uh, as uh, Nikki said, I mean, this is uh, uh, the women should have dreams, and there should be uh, men should support to for uh, women yes. to reach those dreams. That's what we have to have Thank a cooperation. You. Yeah, with that happy end <laughs> note, we are closing our program. Um, Nikki and Carol, thank you very much for being here. We really enjoyed your discussion. And also Ambassador Nasim Fedus and Mr. Aziz Khan, thank you very much, all of you. It was an excellent discussion. We look forward to the, your participation in future. And we also look forward to your visit to Bangladesh in future.